குட் மார்னிங் ஐ ஆம் கோயம்புத்தூர் திருமூலர் சித்தர் பீடம் சிவராஜ யோகி ஸ்பீக்கிங் நவ் ஐ ஆம் ஸ்பீக்கிங் அபவுட் உண்டல் நீ உண்டல் நீ ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் ரைசிங் ஒன்லி வென் தி சப்பன்டைன் எனர்ஜி இந்த மூலாதாரா திஸ் இஸ் எ ஃபீமேல் எனர்ஜி தட் எனர்ஜி இஸ் கால்டு நாகினி குண்டல்னி சர்பன்டைன் எனர்ஜி இஸ் கால்டு நாகினி இட் இஸ் அரௌண்டு தி சிவலிங்கா இந்த அகுல பத்மா ஸோ திஸ் குண்டல்னி இஸ் அரௌஸ்ட் பை டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மீன்ஸ் மெனி முத்ராஸ் there are many activation techniques bandhas pranayama but it it is aroused only when the kundalini rises to different heights the kundalini female kundalini is aroused and it goes to sarasara and it rises and it crosses each adara one will get different different experiences different levels of elevation when the kundalini is in muladhara he will be just like an ordinary man just like all animal tendencies but when it is released and when it starts rising when it leaves muladhara then he will start some extra energy in his body and he is thinking that and brain activation everything will be different his approach to world will be different when it crosses swadhisthana muladhara and swadhisthana he will get wealth when he when what the kundalini crosses and muladhara and swadhisthana one will start getting wealth for seeing uh, where rich people for rich people where very billionaires are there by accidentally or they are uh, by their effort the kundalini crosses muladhara and swadhisthana the kundalini starts uh, uh, from muladhara when it crosses swadhisthana wealth control will come a lot, lot of enormous wealth will be accumulated by that person when it again rises above manipuraha his anger lust and digestive power will be under control for him when it rises to anahada visiddhi and all above other adharas he will tend to be spiritual then he will start to tend to be material to spiritual so manipuraha is the a uh, point for deciding this earthly and uh, uh, divine qualities he cross uh, anagada visuddhi and above uh, more than uh, the earthly material gains one will get starting and uh, this uh, uh, spiritual awareness spiritual achievement and all these things so what is the basic for kundalini rising it is this information is available in varma text in varma in tamil varma is there varma is not only for treatment high and secret knowledge of yoga is embedded in varma high secrets regarding chakra activation regarding dasavayu uh, activation nadi channel opening are available only in varma because in ordinary yoga people are concentrating on the, the ten vayus and the ten nadis but in varma they are concentrating on 15 vayus and they all the 96 channels all the 96 channels so what happens here the uba vayu a prana is having a uba vayu called naga prana is having a uba vayu called naga main prana sar called pancha pranas prana nabana nudana vyanan samanan 
these five pranas are connected with the panjabudas each prana is connected with one buddha avana is connected to earth yana is connected to water this amana is connected to agni this prana is connected to air and the udana is connected to space but the upa pranas are actually linked with more than two uh, elements they have connection with the three elements three elements so in yoga the upa pranas play a major role they interlink the chakras they interlink the chakras from the upa vayus upa pranas they were one or two uh, connection or connected upward one is connected downward sometimes one one is connected upward and two are connected downward so for kundalini rising the cooperation of uma upa pranas are very very important so kundalini this muladhara to swadhisthana it should rise but uh, if some upa pranas are very powerful the kundalini will shift to lower chakras if the upa pranas are powerful they are connected to lower chakras they have three um, connections one upper two down downward sometimes two upper one downward so the interlink linking of chakras are made by upa pranas so kundalini rising above or slipping down is based on this upa pranas if the upa pranas don't cooperate kundalini will not rise this is a secret available in karma text so in this context one major condition whether you do mudra or yatasana disasana kundalini yoga like that one condition is there's a nagan the nagan is also a serpentine energy male serpentine energy nagini and kundalini is nagini it is a female serpentine energy so both are dormant in man nagini is dormant in muladhara nagani is dormant in your chest chest area nagani is connected with uh, with this uh, prana which is associated with uh, anahata so what happens uh, this nagan should be activated when the nagan and um, uh, is activated for example you have to do anahata activation properly with uh, all results for in uh, basic uh, yoga all are result oriented if we get all the results in anahata activation then you can go to prana activation with using prana mudra using some mantras prana swaha likewise some mudras are there and some sometimes you have to do meditation with the color and devada also for all the sabhayas we are having kalash and devada also when you activate the then only the nagan present male serpentine energy present in the anahata chakra associated with the prana will start rising it will start growing and the head you can feel just the head of the snake is coming to your guru mandala when it rises from anahata to rishiti akna bindu chakra and sastara simultaneously the lower part of the snake the tail end will grow down go down go downward when the tail end goes downward and when it touches the nagini in the dormant position then only the nagini will awake and it will be ready for mating so it will not only awake if it is aroused then it is awake it should rise above the chakras adharas for that mating is essential so nagin nagan and nagini mating only takes the energy above all chakras you can see snakes in temples also there to um, um, snakes mating position they are uh, the carbon stones and uh, there are some people are uh, doing puja for that that is representing this so this nagini nagan mating alone will take the energy to higher chakras there is then only the small bigas three and a half um coil uh, nagini around a small shivalinga four inch shivalinga the length is 
very small when it starts mating it will get heights and it crosses and mates and they become the head of the nagini is connected left brain and the head of the uh, nagan is connected to the uh, right brain then that's why in india there people are worshiping naga devadas because nagas are available not only outside they are also available in the body in the form of nagini and nagan so this is the final point needed for kundalini rising but uh, no other yoga this activation for nagan is preached i am the only one i think teaching how to activate the nagan which grows above your head and below and touches arouses the nagini the nagini kundalini can be aroused by the tail of nagan only all other um, efforts are only um, working on up to certain level so finally the nagan so the nagan activation the male serpentine energy should be activated first and it should arouse the female nagini then only uh, kundalini will arise because uh, for uh, kundalini is an astral current kundalini is an astral current for every current a uh, positive and negative uh, uh, is needed so nagan energy is the positive energy and nagini is the negative when both they combine then only current will be created and that can be the potential of the current can be trapped so this is very secret that is available in varma books only special activation of this are taught by me in practical classes it needs some mudras mantras and some asanas sometimes even asanas these secrets they will be very useful for kundal secrets for kundalini any people try to see kundalini they want to awaken kundalini the extra energy the dormant energy the mystic energy this is a secret the only this activation will give yield results for classes contact me online classes are available thank you